Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We'll be looking at the CSEC Social Studies, January 2020, Paper 2. We'll be looking at Question 2 for today. But if you're visiting the channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you are alerted when new videos are being uploaded. And thanks to all my returning subscribers for supporting the channel. So also, please give this video a thumbs up by liking it. Let us get into this question. The A part of 2 says, the first part, state the name of the main type of government system which existed in Commonwealth Caribbean countries before independence. And that is worth one mark. Now we know that the Commonwealth Caribbean countries were under the British Empire or the British colonies. And that all those Caribbean or Commonwealth countries, they were referred to as the Crown Colony. So that is one mark. The next Part of the question says, state one characteristic of the type of governance you named in A, the first part. Now, we know one characteristic of the crown colony is that it is administered by a governor that is being appointed by the crown and is responsible to the colonial office so they have a governor appointed so let's go on to the b part the first part of the question says state the two types of government systems adopted by commonwealth caribbean countries after they gained independence now we know one constitutional monarchy and two re public so those were two types of government system that was adopted after caribbean countries got, got their independence the second part of the question says outline one difference and one similarity between the two types of government systems identified in b1 or the first part now what is one of the difference well we know that a constitutional monarchy we know that it has a king or a queen who is the head of state and the prime minister is the heads of government whereas in the republic it has a president who is also both the head of state and the government leader so that's one difference another difference is that in a constitutional monarchy the queen is even though being head of state it has little or no role in the actual governing of the country so we know in a constitutional monarchy the representative of the queen is the governor general and the governor general have little or no role at all in the actual running of the country we know that they only focus on the ceremonial duties within a country whereas in the republic while the constitutional monarchy the, the head of state is hereditary in the republic it is not hereditary their head of the country is actually elected and we know that the power actually within the republic is held by the people is held by the people and their representatives so that's another difference so we highlighted two differences that you could write anyone for your answer now what about the similarity well we know that both the constitutional monarchy and the republic both forms of government 
they tend to use a representational system. That is, the citizens vote to elect the politicians to represent their interests and forms the government. So that's a similarity between the two. All right, and you will get four marks for those two part difference and similarity. Let's look at the final part of this question two. The C says, the government of your country is having difficulties providing adequate health care for its citizens due to limited resources. I says, the first part suggests three strategies this government may employ in its effort to create and maintain a healthy population and that is worth six marks so in suggesting let's look at the strategy one so we're going to explain each one of them as we go along so strategy one the government can provide primary health care facilities such as clinics no we know that the main functions of functions of the primary health care um, facilities it includes like the provision of immunizations against infectious disease maternal and child care and pre or prenatal and postnatal care checkups for mothers and their babies public health education also can be done and also making referral referrals as well as administering treatment for conditions associated with minor illnesses such as you know the common influenza like flu and so on so those things are what the government will ensure that primary health care is available to all its citizens so that's one strategy and we could even go and explain it even further in providing primary health care we know as we know that the primary health care that's the first place first place where patients would go for medical health care like we know within the community health centers or the clinics now we know since it is a first level of contact between individuals and the health system now you'll find like general health practitioners our family physicians you'll find these at the health clinics that will provide health care for persons um like providing regular exams and we mentioned like basic, basic things like treatment of common diseases and injuries so government will put in place to ensure that these things are available so that the population can be healthy also the government could in order to prevent diseases it could pro promote environmental health like good sanitation such as the provision of safe drinking water and domestic use and sweep will find like they, they will take care of collecting the garbage so that the population can be healthy and safe also we mentioned providing vaccinations and immunizations also providing mental health care and jerk services like we know pharmacy and so on and providing um where where patient can go and fill their prescriptions also primary dental care the government would ensure that that is available and they would also promote good hygiene and promote nutrition and good nutrition and a healthy lifestyle such as you know exercising and 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 so on and really providing different programs that facilitates the prevention of these diseases so this is one of the main functions when it comes on to providing primary health care to make sure that this is available so the government will spend quite a lot in the first part of the population to ensure that you know there is a good healthcare system that is put in place also the government can also ensure that affordable 
secondary or curative health care is available to its citizens, which focuses on early detection, tr treatment, and care of, cure of diseases. Treatments such as accidents and emergencies, departments, radiology, um, labs for blood tests, and so on. So this is where now for serious case where referrals will be offering to like the hospitals that will be available. So the government would ensure that hospitals are well, well equipped and up to standard so that it can function properly and take care of the needs of the population. Also, since their the primary health care would be referring them to the secondary health care because we know the primary as we mentioned were like the community centers and health clinics now the secondary health care this would be like as we mentioned at the hospitals so you'll find like specialists such as you know cardiologists urologists dermatologists and other specialists you'll find them at the hospitals that will um afford a higher form of treatment to patients so the government will ensure that these things are put in place so that the population can be healthy they would also ensure that the hospitals and other facilities are well equipped and maintained so that they can care for 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 these sick patients so you'll find that the government will spend money on like doing medical um, research treatments they will provide therapies they will have like rehabilitation centers that can help persons to um, recover from their illness so overall they will ensure that more healthcare workers is available more doctors nurses specialists and clerical staff they would ensure that they are well trained to care for the needs of the population so that is another way and strategy three we have discussed so many strategies we you the government can also ensure that another form of healthcare system is provided which is we refer to as the tertiary or curative now we know we'll have like health institutions we we're talking until about it earlier health institutions like for persons you'll find that the government will have like rehab centers like for persons who have certain kind of diseases or recovering from a drug addict so specialized um consultant healthcare professionals are being in these institutions where they can help these ones to recover for example in dealing with mental health for example and so on and there are so many other institutions or hospitals that cater to different needs of individuals that the government have provided so we have discussed quite a bit of strategies that you could improve you could use in explaining them for question two so this is it we have come to the end of question two Stay tuned for question three, so make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video so that you know when question three is out. Thank you so much for watching.